We're like over halfway through February. It is officially retreat season in Catholic ministry. Retreats are kind of interesting because they're, by and large, a very, very good thing. But for some reason, they can inspire a lot of stress in people right before they actually go. Some of this is legit, like, spiritual warfare. And some of this is like, do I know anyone there? How should I dress? What's going to happen? I get it. So whether this is your very first retreat as a high schooler going through confirmation, or this is a later in life experience that you're trying to deepen your faith, I'm here to help you pack for your retreat. Number one, clothes. So the trick to a retreat is pack in layers. I've got the sweater, I've got the flannel under that, and I've got the t-shirt under that. This is known as layers. I'm from California. I had to be taught this later in life. I don't want the same thing to happen to you, especially for the high school is bring enough clothes. You're gonna wear during the day. What are you gonna sleep in? How much underwear should you bring? Real things you should think about. Number two, bring a towel. Especially for these high school retreats, you want a towel that is small enough to pack into your bag, but big enough to wrap all the way around you should the need arise. Very important, a towel. Next, sleep stuff. This is different depending on where you're gonna go. Some places have bed linens and pillowcases and the whole deal. Some places you need to bring a sleeping bag and a pillow. Figure out what you're doing. This should be literally like your first question. How long will it be and what should I bring to sleep on? Next, a Bible. Preferably less academic and smaller one, but a Bible all the same. There's multiple reasons to bring a Bible. Like if you have some downtime and you don't know what to do, pop this baby open. There's good stuff in it. Second, there's kind of a hilarious amount of times that someone needs to know exactly a Bible verse during a retreat. You can be that guy or that girl that just opens it up and it's like, oh wait, yeah, that's a First Maccabees 15.3 or something on the off chance that they actually say, open your Bibles to whatever you'll be the one that has their Bible. That's a very important thing. This rarely happens outside of like an Ignatian retreat where the priest tells you, read Mark chapter two, verse seven and eight for the next hour and get back to me tomorrow. But it's still scripture and it's still like a retreat that you're going to get closer to God. So bring a Bible. Next, a rosary. Very important for a retreat. Most retreats will involve some time to pray the rosary, even just to keep it in your pocket to remember what's going on and to remind yourself why you're here. And this goes toward my second piece of advice. No matter what happens, get some amount of praying done on Friday night. A lot of retreats, especially retreats with like larger groups, will spend a lot of time with like get to know you games and icebreakers and fun stuff on Friday night so that you can get down to the nitty gritty on Saturday. Problem is this doesn't work. A lot of retreats are Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it sounds like it's three days, but it's not. It's actually Saturday with a tiny bit on Sunday and a tiny bit on Friday. And if you don't pray on Friday night, you spend a whole chunk of Saturday trying to get into the mode of prayer. Even if it's by yourself or with a friend, if they don't pray on Friday night, sit down and pray a rosary. If you're fast, it takes like 15 minutes. I'm not fast. It's so vitally important for the spiritual experience of the rest of the week and that you start as quick as possible with the prayer. Toiletries. You need tooth stuff, you need deodorant, gentlemen, and to play it safe, you need soap. If you have contact solution or pills or whatever, be a grown up. Ladies, you might need to bring lady hygiene things, but you know more about that than me. So, flashlight. You'd be surprised. Also, bring a hat. Hats are great because you don't know how much time you're gonna be spending outside. And honestly, why bring a hair comb when you can just wear a hat? Chapstick. Trust me. Here's an important one that some people always miss. A journal with a pen to write in it. I'm not the journaling type of person, but I always make sure to bring something to write in on a retreat. The most important things that happen in your retreat are things that you're going to forget. Write them down. Write down questions you have, important things you heard, a joke you heard, whatever. A Bible verse that really struck you, whatever it is, mention it in a journal and keep it, even if you're not a regular journaling type. Snacks. This is a little interesting. So the treats I've been on have often been in like bear country and raccoon country. Like you don't bring snacks into where you live because the bears will get you. Double check on what the rules are in bringing snacks and actually follow them. And this is a trick to most retreats. There are going to be rules. There are going to be things you don't understand. There's going to be a schedule that you either don't know about or don't understand why it's going that way. The reason you go on a retreat, the only reason you should go on a retreat is because you trust the people putting on the retreat. And then when you say, I'm going on this retreat and I trust the people putting it on, actually put your trust in them. Pray the things that they're bringing in front of you and you don't follow rules. Like maybe don't keep snacks in your cabin or your room. Retreats are all about trust. If you're leading a retreat, earning the trust of the people you're leading. If you're on a retreat, trusting the people you're with and trusting God. I really like this hat. Next thing you should pack is some sort of like religious necklace or bracelet or something. I have the Virgin of Guadalupe. Maybe you have a cross or some different saint. There's gonna be a lot of downtime or like not specifically prayerful things at your retreat, which is completely fine and good. Maybe there's an icebreaker game, time to blow off steam and play basketball, or maybe you're just eating lunch, whatever. Do those normal everyday things, but always make sure to keep them in contact, tactile contact 
contact with the holy. And necklaces and bracelets and scapulars and all those sorts of things are really good for that purpose. They give a tactile, physical, on your person reminder. Right now is a holy time set aside for God. The next thing to bring is all of your religious t-shirts because honestly, where else are you gonna wear these things? All right, before you actually go on your retreat, I need you to take a deep breath with me. The point of a retreat is to set aside some time for God. This time is for him to work in you and to work for you. Please, please, please don't bring homework on a retreat. Please, please, please turn off your phone on a retreat. Do your best to always be in the exact moment that you are in and notice everything that's happening within you, everything that's being taught to you while you're on the retreat. Be good to the people around you. Take this time to be extra caring, extra loving, even extra funny or fun when you're talking to each other, but also extra honest and extra real. And if it ever becomes a little bit much or a little bit weird, take a deep breath. And the last thing you need to bring on your retreat is a willingness to just go for it. You get out of a retreat exactly what you put into a retreat. 50% of the work is just showing up. That means that if something is new or something you're not used to or a level of prayer that uh, you've never experienced before, go for it. Actually apply yourself to it. The number one person you need to be honest to is God. Nothing else is really required. Every day, every moment you're at the retreat, apply yourself toward God, bit by bit giving more of yourself to Him. God rewards that abundantly and He does that especially when you've taken some time specifically to give to him. Like you can get away without bringing your flashlight or your journal. You will not have gone on the retreat if you don't bring with you the willingness to just do it. Have fun on your retreat, I'll be praying for you. Steve the Missionary is a collaboration between me, Steve, and all of my patrons on patreon.com slash stevetm. If you want to be part of the collaborative team that makes these videos to help other people get closer to Christ, please go visit the Patreon and see what you can do and how you can join. If you want to reach me, honestly, the fastest way is Twitter. My handle is at Steve Missionary on Facebook. I'm Steve the Missionary. I'm excited to see you there. Please subscribe to this channel, hit like, hit yes. the bell, and comment away. I want to see what you guys would. I want to see what recommendations you guys would give to other people going on retreats. All right, peace.